Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Ducks Pokemon. My name is Zach, but you can just call me Ducky, and in today's video, we are going to be opening up one of the two, uh, I don't know what to call these, these are Evolution tins that I got from uh, my local Target now. I have got a new local Target. They were absolutely stacked. I really didn't go there expecting to get Pokemon cards. I think I've already talked about this a little bit, uh, but I, I went to go get some college supplies, and then I was like, let's check the Pokemon card section just in case, and I ended up with these two bad boys. Uh, as you can tell, I've been experimenting with the studio a little bit uh, and adjusting uh, our face, our cam as necessary. I think I put it a little bit higher up this time and a little bit uh, more downwards. Uh, so if you guys like it, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your input about this uh, because I'm just experimenting right now. Nothing is set in stone. Uh, I really like the figures here. I think they're just adorable. But at the same time, if y'all don't like it, I will get rid of it. It's really a fan-based process, honestly. So to decide if we are going to be opening up this Flareon or Vaporeon Evolution tin, which does have some evolving skies, I'm going to be flipping a coin. And I probably should have gotten the coin out before the video started, right? Because that would make sense. But now I need to get it out of my Elite Trainer box that I keep everything in. And since we had an, uh, a Raichu coin at home that we used to flip to decide what we were doing, I actually brought along with me an Alolan Raichu. So it's a little bit of the same, but uh, a little bit different as well, which is nice. You always want to see it. Uh, you know, just a little bit of a change. So heads will be for the Flareon tin, and tails will be for the Vaporeon tin. Let's just get those in the camera individually right away. Uh, I'm also using these for thumbnails because I can't, like, take a thumbnail photo for whatever reason. So heads for Flareon, tails for Vaporeon. Let's see what we get. So it was heads. I, I swear I did not flip that over. We're going to be opening up the Flareon tin first, and then in the next video, we'll be opening up the Vaporeon. So do not worry. There is no sealed collection happening here. Uh, I've got a new pocket knife, and by new, I mean uh, a one that I use at home all the time, but I just never really used for uh, the studio. I had a different one down there, but we'll be using this one from now on because it's the only one I have with me. I also have a pair of scissors, but I don't know. These tins are great. Uh, I've, I've just really happy that they made these tins the way they are. They use, they've done so many different things with the Pokemon tins, but I love the classic design of, I don't know how many sizes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, like a octagonal shape of these tins because they're so easy to store cards in. Uh, you can store so many cards. And here's another thing I'm loving about it as well. They are really cutting down on the plastic. Uh, so it, this is just, this promo is just in a little piece of paper that you can recycle. I really commend the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Company for doing that. So we've got our Flareon V promo card, which will be added to my college binder that I haven't showed off yet. Here's your code card, one, two, and done. Uh, but yes, I've got a college binder now, uh, separate from my original binder, where I'm gonna be keeping track of all my college pulls. See what I mean with all this like paper instead of plastic? And these tins are reusable. Oh, the sustainable Pokemon Center. I love to see it. Uh, I'm just gonna put that right back there. You're only gonna see a little bit of Flareon's head. Uh, but whatever, you know, uh, whatever works. I'm just trying to, oh no, I accidentally just turned off one of my lights. There we go. <laughs> uh, whatever works, you know, I'm just experimenting, as I've said multiple times in this video already. So the packs that we've got today are Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield. And in fact, we are going to just do this in the opposite order that we found them. Eh, with a little adjustment, I'm going to switch Battle Styles to first, because honestly, not a huge fan of Battle Styles. But that's my opinion, and I'm welcome to have my opinion, and you're welcome to have yours. If you love Battle Styles, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I would like to have a talk uh, about why you like it, because I always like hearing other people's opinions, even when they're not necessarily uh, agreeing with mine. So here we go. First pack of the day, four minutes into the video. I'll try to go faster next time. We got Battle Styles, and let's see if we can pull a banger from this tin. I'm looking for Evolving Skies alternate arts. I'm looking for Evolutions from Evolving Skies, one, two, and done. I am looking for anything that I don't have from Evolving Skies. As far as Battle Styles goes, I'm really not concerned. I, there's nothing that I'm like really, really wanting to have, uh, but you know, it's always fun to get some, some cool new cards. So we've got a Psychic Energy that is newer and improved -er. 
I need to find a place to put this off to the side. We got a sword word and shield bird. See, even I'm getting used to the new face cam or the new, not face cam, regular camera because it's different than my old one. We've got a carnivine. I can actually put this closer. A fomantis, a remoraid, a cubone, a poniard, houndour, reverse hollow, roly coly, and our rare is a holographic Aegislash. So starting off with a holographic pull. Since that is technically a pull, I'm actually going to put that. Hold on. There we go. I'm actually going to put that as our poll of the day, even though technically, uh, you know, Flareon's better. But we got ourselves a holographic. I'm very happy about that. The Aegislash, I'm pretty sure I already have it. If I don't, cool. I got a new card. Next is short Sword and Shield Base. I'm really, really looking for something to add to that College Binder. I'm only adding Ultra Rares or better. So uh, I, I need to get Ultra Rares. Uh, I need to pull my first Ultra Rare from College. I have not done that yet. One, two, and done. <sighs> Come on, Sword and Shield, don't fail me now. One, two, three, four to the front. Maybe we will pull ourselves our fourth full art Zamazenta V. That'd be pretty funny. And by funny, I mean sad. We've got ourselves a newer and improved darkness energy. A Lin Galarian Lanoon. Let's get that bulk over to the side. A Hitmonchan. A P Potion. I don't know why I just flipped that up. M Snom, Muna, Zigzagoon, Sizzlypede. Oh, my bulk is encroaching. Chinchow, Reverse Hollow, Sizzlypede, and our rare. It's a non-holographic Nine Tails. So we're swinging over two right now. Not really liking that. I guess one half for two. And we've got two packs left. Next up, Chilling Rain. I don't understand why they didn't include two Evolving Skies packs in a tin that released it released a week after Evolving Skies, but hey, I don't run the Pokemon company, right? I would love to have had that. Uh, usually, tins of this kind do have that, but I guess uh, for, in the case of this, these tins, the Pokemon company decided that Evolving Skies was too good of a set to include two, two booster packs of. I, I don't know. I... Pfft. Let's get something good here, please. Four to the front. All right, we got ourselves a newer and improved metal energy, a whirlypede, a crushing gloves, a honey, clobopus, mareep, ralts. Let's bring it a little closer. Cast form, snover, reverse hollow crib brawler, and our rare. It's a non holographic dug trio. Uh oh, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm sweating a little, not gonna lie. Because we are down to our last pack, this Evolving Skies Duraludon VMAX pack. And if y'all are new to the channel, I'm going to do a little bit of a ritual um, that I did at home with the face cam. Uh, but if you guys are recurring uh, watchers of the channel, first of all, for, thank you for just watching the channel at all. Uh, and second of all, you guys know what I'm about to do. So imagine in your mind that I'm making a really weird face and moving my hands around with like jazz hands. So I'm going to send you all the good vibes. Ready? All good vibes have been sent to you, the Duck Squad, and all I ask in return is that you give me all the good luck, and there are three ways you can do that. Number one, like this video. Easiest way, you just scroll down and you click the like button. Number one. Number two, comment on this video. You can comment anything you want as long as it's appropriate. Number three, if you are not already subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, click that notification bell to be notified every time I post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Central Time. Those times are subject to change because I don't know my schedule yet. This was the first day of class. I'm actually recording a video on the first day of class because uh, I didn't have that much homework. So here we go with the last pack of Evolving Skies. Please give me something good here. Please give me something good here. I am in desperate need of a pull. All right. Here's your code card. One, two, and done. I hope you guys did not see that code card, because I think I did. So we got four to the front. Maybe we've got an error pack. We've got ourselves a newer and improved fire energy. A Fletchender. Skiploom. Boldor. Uh, Bergamite. Petalil. Cryogonal. Underappreciated Pokemon. Love me some Snowflake. Some angry, menacing Snowflake. Zorua. Swablu. Reverse Hollow Elemental Badge. And the final card of this video is... A non-holographic Talonflame. So this was a dud tin and a waste of $20, but at least I was able to add a new card 
to my college binder and my first card to the college binder. So I'm gonna show y'all what this is. Uh, it is a little card guard uh, portfolio binder that I got from Target for like 12 bucks. And it's got all these nice pages in it. And so for our inaugural, oh no, I just hit the camera. <laughs> oh no, I see this is what I don't like about my setup. It is very, very flimsy. I can very easily just like demolish my setup in two seconds. So let me just get this very carefully. Our inaugural card in this binder is, hold on, wait for it, Flareon V. I can't really get it on camera. So welcome to the binder, Flareon V. You are the first one in and hopefully not the last. And with all that being said, that is just about going to do it for the video today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always, always, always do those things. It makes me happy, and hopefully my videos make you just a little bit happier. Remember, I get the bad pull so you don't have to. And with all that being said, I'm Octodux Pokemon, and I'm out.